Hi, you Mackenzie. Yeah. What about in Sunderland are you from? Hilton Castle. Oh, God bless your soul. <laughs> Aye, so it's your sister who passed. Yeah, it is. Do you know what, the feeling I get with her, right? Are you already talking about it? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine talking about that. Like, she's like, uh, tell us at any point if you think anything I'm saying is wrong, but the feeling I get with her, Danielle is, is your mum, isn't it? Yeah. Like, she was, how can I put this? She was sorry for having a bad temper. <laughs> like, she was sorry for, like, snapping at you all the time. She did love you, but, like... I feel like years could really like argue a lot. Would that make sense? Yeah, we did used to argue a lot. Like really bad though. Like quite harsh at times. Does that do you know what I mean? Yeah, we did. Yeah, I feel all nervy. Like I get all get like like get nervy like brother. Have you just got like loads of her like makeup and all of her things and just keep showing us these black straighteners or something? Yeah, like we've got, all, we've got all you, of you've them. all kept in like a box or something, or you've got it in a, 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 all of our stuff in one place. Um, we've still got all of our stuff in our bedroom, and then we've got stuff downstairs as well. I'm not picking up that there was illness beforehand. Would that no. be right? There wasn't. No. Okay. But I'm also not picking up that it was an intentional death. No, it wasn't. Okay. And I think that, that what she's bringing through is that she actually knew that it was going to happen. Yeah, she will love. I'm getting that palpitation. You know, you said you got anxious. I've got a, like, I know something's going to happen, but it's out of my control. Yeah, she will love. Okay. Did she make some wrong decisions in life? I did, but she was young, so... <laughs> I don't want to make this, this distressing, but I'm seeing blood, and I don't know whether this means that, that there was lots of tests before or after, because I'm seeing blood in, in test tubes. Yeah, there, there was, after. Right, okay. It's like there's still a lot of question marks, is that right? Yeah, there is. Did she used to have a nickname for you? <laughs> Could be a lot. <laughs> Why am I seeing jelly tots? You know, the little round jelly tots? Yeah. Show me jelly tots. So you, well, we used to say, like, love you lots, like jelly tots, so that's probably... That's what I was getting. <laughs> I was. That's what I was getting. She's not actually opening up how she passed because I, I think, to be honest with you, she doesn't know exactly what's happened. But she is okay with it. And I feel like she's bringing the, like, the love you lots like jelly tots just to let you know that she is around and she does love you and you might have had your moment. There was a, a sisterly love there. Yeah, there was. What is it about the shoes? Um, there could be two things. But like the shoes that she died in, or we bought us some shoes for Christmas, and the in my mum's sitting room okay. on the bed. I, I can't clarify which. I'm I'm just being told to mention the shoes, and I I'll be told. I'm always transparent. I don't know what one it is. It'll probably be the um the ones in my mum's sitting room. To be honest. Okay. Well, get expensive ones like Louis Vuittons or something. Yeah, the Burberry. <laughs> yeah. They were like they were like you know I get nine hundred quid or something. So they're yeah. Shelf, <laughs> like as if they're an ornament, but they're not. Uh huh. Because that's what I'm saying. Like a sandy brown, I don't know. Does that make sense? Yeah, they are the white and white and like light brown. Right, uh, well, that's what I'm getting shown. Like she's bringing that in as validation for Mantha to let you know that she's here. Yeah. Sorry, Mantha. 
No, no, this is this is good. We're working together. <laughs> I'm being made aware of a necklace. And I feel that this necklace came after her passing. Did somebody get a neck? Oh, I don't know whether it, it's engraved or... Um, she, she had a necklace um, and I've took the charm off her, the necklace she was wearing on that night and I've, put, I've got it on mine. Right, okay. And my mum has a necklace with that right. one as well. Right, okay. Because she, it's like she's making me aware the necklace after she passed. Yeah, we've got them both after she passed. Okay. I see a massive photo of me, like poster size. Yeah. You know, like when you get like an ear three, like canvas or something, or a photo of that. Like I'm getting a photo that was like enlarged. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, we have. We've got. I've got one in my house, and my mum's got one talk, in hers. Do you talk like Mackenzie? Do you talk to that photo like all the time? Yeah. Because she's saying like, you know, she is always around you. You know, didn't ask for signs. You'll get them when you need them. That's what she's saying. She's saying if I, she keeps bringing connections to you all the time. Like, it doesn't help you just getting on with your lives. She knows that you miss her. You know what I mean? And and she miss, well, she doesn't miss you because she's around you. Is the name Kelly relevant anywhere? Um, we've got an auntie. That's, Ke that's called Kelly. Something about Kelly. Kelly Kelly did something for her. Yeah, they did. They did. Kelly, Kelly did, when did she, something big. Yeah, when she first passed, they got banners done for her. Okay. I see them big, like, you know them Chinese lanterns? Oh, the ones you light up and Aye. light away. Does that make sense, Mackenzie? <laughs> it's dangerous, yeah. <laughs> Did you light one and nearly set some of the light? Like, <laughs> oh, they were really bad. We were chasing them up the street. No, so the ones setting cars are like. She's, la she's laughing her head off, saying about these Chinese <laughs> lanterns. Like, you must have written on them, must have met. Yeah. And then you set them off in the garden, but you didn't let them heat up enough, and you left go of them in the blue. <laughs> Nearly took all the um, four wires above us out in that. <laughs> What's the um, the glass of gin? And I want to say it's um, like the flavoured gin, not the plain gin. Um, it depends you get your beak next to your phone, so can hear you. Um, I don't know, to be honest. It's definitely gin in a bottle and it's like you know the ones you get that are coloured all the different flavours I'm seeing like a yellow one a pink one um, I'll have to ask my mum about that one okay it, it's very clear very vivid so it's got to have some meaning unless you can take the name Gordon for Gordon's gin Um, no no it's got to be the gin then do you, know, do you know the feeling I get I get with your sister, right? I don't know her name, but you know the feeling I get with her? I don't know if she was the oldest, but the feeling I get with her is as if, like, she was more the mum than your mum, as in, like, she was, like, <laughs> a, a boss in herself, and, like, yeah. she, she was the one who would, like, tell you more off and that. Do you know what I mean? And she's, like, she, I feel like she's saying, like, if, if she was here now, she'd say to her mum, like, mum, sort yourself out, man. Yeah, she would. <laughs> Fucking stop going on like this, it's true, but like it's just as if she morphed into like the adult of the family, do you know? Like yeah. she would just she would just see it how it is, you know what I mean? But do you know when you come round from the arms and there's like a square that goes in like if you've gone up towards a castle and there's a square. Yeah. I'm getting tucked to that area. Yeah. And when I read people I'm getting I'm get I always get like tucked to places now. Is that where she lived? Yeah, it's where my mum lives. Right, you know, I keep seeing a white car as well. Um, the white car could have something to do with a funeral. I didn't know. I, d I don't know whether you, you know this lady in the chat, but she's saying um, she liked to drink pink gin when she went out. So maybe that's where the gin comes in. Yeah. I don't know. I d sometimes I think you get validation coming through that like you've got to go away and search for then like yeah. I think it's more like apparent then do you know what I mean like when yeah. you didn't know you're selling you find out I, I didn't know though because like 
I, I think you're always learning when you're doing this. I just hope it's helping you, Mackenzie. I hope it's no, made it you realise that she's she still around, yeah? Yeah, she's definitely around, like... Did you get cremated, like? Yeah. Because I'm not getting buried, I'm getting cremated. What, in the liver in your mum's living room? Yeah. Next to a Louis boot. No, that, um, Burberry <laughs> <shirt>. <laughs> Yeah. She's all right, we're passing, you know. Like, everyone's like, she was still young, she was really bonny, da da da. But she's all right, we're passing now. She's saying, like, it was just that I was just in the gun on before this, that's all. Like, she's like a, a lot of blase about it. Like, yeah. It kills the pain that's caused because of what's happened to her, but she's like so accepting of it. She's just all right. I keep getting a little woman next to her, like a, like a grand, do you know what I mean? No, she, she really is. She's, she's quite chirpy, isn't she? And, mm -hmm. And I think, you know, given like the, the shoes and, you know, the, the love you lots like jelly tots, it's her way of saying, I'm, I'm absolutely fine and I'm around you. Yeah. What's with the odd socks? Oh, I don't know. I keep getting shown a swing. I don't know if years used to go on a swing a lot. I don't know if you've got memories of being on a swing. I don't know if it was in the garden or whatever, but I'm getting shown a swing. Yeah, we did have one in the garden. Did you nearly split your head open on it or something? Did you push it too hard? Probably. <laughs> she was always getting run once you've gone too far with you. Oh, two good killers, honestly. And she's just shown us this swing. Was it pink? Um, I think it might have been. Well, I'm getting shown it. You know, your basic apex pink frame, frame uh, swing. Yeah. White ropes and I'm getting you getting pushed and you come out, come off it or something. I don't know. She was always getting run off them off her, like, for gone <laughs> too, like, rough with you. Keep getting shown a tattoo. Have you got one on your arm for her, like? Yeah, I have. With a name in, like scrolled? I've got a name and other stuff to do with her on my like, arm. Is it uh, is it scrolly, a uh, name like in, like, you know, scroll, right? Um, a little bit, yeah. I don't know. Would it be, would it, would it be on the right forearm? It's on my right top of my arm. I'm getting took to the right arm, but I'm getting shown the forearm. I don't know why, but I'm getting took to the right side. But oh, I've got something about the belly as well. I don't know. So what with the belly? Unless she's got a sneaky tattoo that we don't know about. <laughs> she didn't realise how well liked she actually was, you know. Oh, she didn't. Like a funeral. She's seeing like there was people there that like she might have only met met once or twice. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, there was. She's only seen them once or twice, but there was that that much of an impact on on everybody. What had happened, like everyone just come in the drones. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Just saying, sorry, it was a blur here. Yeah? Do you ever sit, Mackenzie, right? And do you ever feel as if somebody's blown on your neck or your face? I do feel things, but I do just like, is it, do you know, is it right? Not in a weird way. It probably still the same way. <coughs> and if I went like that, and I blew on you, right? And you felt like the air on your neck. Yeah. Do you ever feel that? Yeah, but I just brush it off. I just think it's the wind is awesome. <laughs> well, can I just say this to you? I know for a fine fact, and I can promise you this, I've done a lot of readings in the last eight years, right? A lot. And I've never, ever, ever says that to anybody in a reading. Ever. Tattoos, I've mentioned that. Ashes, I've mentioned that before. You know what I mean? Common things. I've never, ever mentioned that. And that's, I feel, your sister letting you know that when you feel that air getting blue on you, it's uh, coming up to you and blowing on you. But she was a practical joker in real life anyway. Oh, I she was. So I was giving you shocks and whining you <laughs> up and like just being a joker, like, you know, the way she was. And you used yeah. to flip your lid with her all the time. <laughs> You must have really flipped your lid once with her while she shit herself like you where you went proper lost your rag with her. I think I did once. Did you fling some of that at like a remote or something? Yeah. Like off her head? <laughs> yeah. Didn't end well for me after though. What was she in the sitting room and you bounced a remote off her head or something? Yeah. And she went mental. <laughs> uh -huh. She's apologising for gone too far, like cause it was her fault. <laughs> Well, but I got the blame for everything. Because you've got a right temper on you and she used to, used to use it to her advantage. <laughs> she knew which buttons to press. Well, she did. 
Did you use to do each other's toenails and that, like with a varnish? Yeah. Because I'm like, she's showing us your feet, and I'm like, yeah, what you showing us them for? <laughs> and then she's saying that she used to, you used to do each other's nails and all that. You were like yeah. best mates. We were like best friends. Did you used to have bunk beds when you were kids, like? Yeah, we did. And you used to always joke on with each other and fling stuff off each other and that. Yeah. And what's all the good bottles of fizzy pop that you used to get? Um, Did you used to have a get munch session and like tag stuff up in your room? Yeah. On your bunk beds and have a picnic and that? Uh huh. Well, I always loved the picky tea. You used to always watch like the same stuff and all, didn't you? On your telly? Yeah, same films. Knock, out, knock them out your room, you used to just both stop in your room and you're in your bunk beds. Yeah. Did you used to sleep in the bed with her when you were little, little like? I probably did, so did to the stairs, to be honest. <laughs> no, because she's on about years two, you used to share a bed. Yeah. Even though you had, like, separate beds, you would sleep in the same bed with each other anyway, because she's just, were, like, it was like having a sleep. I was your best mate, but you were, like, <laughs> sisters, do you know what I mean? Yeah. That's what I'm getting from her. I feel like pulling away now, like, I don't know if you're still getting a man for. No, to be honest with you, she's, she's stepping back from me as well. All I'm going to say to you is... She'll love you to return at eight and she'll always be around you. And the next time you fail that air blown on you in the kitchen, it's her. Thank you. Does that make sense? Yeah. Well, I'm going to leave love with you and Mackenzie right to your Thank you very much. You're welcome. You're welcome.